per year to run our prison system. Prop 6 revises California law, including increasing the penalties for certain crimes, especially gang-related. A yes vote would mean California would increase penalties for certain crimes and increase spending on criminal justice programs by $365 million. A no vote would mean funding levels and penalties would remain unchanged. Now, supporters say that every California sheriff supports Prop 6 and that it will bring increased safety without raising taxes. Opponents say that Prop 6 may sound good, but it will savage the California's economy because it requires new spending and threatens funds for other critical programs. Supporters include L.A. County Sheriff Lee Baca and San Diego County DA Bonnie Anjumani. Opponents include California professional firefighters and minorities in law enforcement. For more information, go to cgs.org. California voters will be doing more than just helping to elect a president when they go to the polls on November 4th. A number of important propositions are on the ballot, too. Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez takes a close look at Proposition 6, the measure that would crack down on crime. A child is killed by a suspected gang member. Again, a mother cries out. I'm a child of God, and my baby is true, and she didn't deserve it. Backers of Prop 6 say new funding is crucial. Each year, there are about 1,000 murders in Los Angeles County, half caused by gangs, according to Sheriff Lee Baca. He supports Prop 6. I say to the persons who are at the ballot box, uh, do you want a safer community? It comes with a price. You find the numbers in your official voter information guide. According to a nonpartisan analysis, Prop 6 mandates $965 million for law enforcement. The amount would grow over the next five years, plus a potential capital outlay for prisons that could exceed $500 million. Lieutenant Governor John Garamendi opposes Prop 6. We've got some real serious funding issues and we have to set priorities. Most of this money is actually going to go for the prisons. Many unions oppose it too. Public employees struggle for state funding, yet police would get a shield from the Budget Act. That's going to pull resources down by mandate from here to eternity out of other programs for fire protection, health care, for teachers, nurses, programs like that that are important as well. There's more than money in this measure. It includes dozens of changes in the criminal code. Among them, gang members could get life in prison if convicted of a home robbery or carjacking. Recruiting a child under age 14 would add five years to a prison term. Possession of methamphetamine, that's an automatic felony. There are intervention programs, too. Uh, the state of California, quite frankly, has learned in numerous ways how to squander the taxpayers' dollars. This is one where the dollars will be put to good use. Fighting gangs is a good use. Opponents even agree on that. But they don't believe it is the only good use of funds needed by all who serve California communities. Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. currently requires private power companies to generate at least 20% of their electricity from renewable sources by 2010. Now, Prop 7 would require government-owned utilities to generate at least 20% of their electricity from renewable sources by 2010, and would set a higher percentage in future years all utilities. Now, a yes vote means electricity providers in California would have to increase the proportion of electricity generated from renewable sources. A no vote means the current percentages would remain in effect. Supporters say Prop 7 will create new jobs and that it is a balanced solution that will reduce the rise in cost of energy. Opponents say Prop 7 is deeply flawed and will disrupt renewable power development. Supporters include renewable energy scientist Dr. Donald W. Aiken and former state senator John L. Burton. Opponents include the California Solar Energy Industries Association and the California League of Conservation Voters. For more information, go to cbs.org. As scientists, they all agree our biggest problem is global warming from burning fossil fuels. Each is a Nobel Prize winner. And after careful study, they have said this about Proposition 7. Proposition 7, if made into law, would represent a very significant step forward, which merits your support. Proposition 7 will reduce global warming by getting half our electricity from solar and other clean sources. Listen to the scientists. 
Vote yes on seven. It's a California campaign battle that's drawn national attention and prompted supporters and opponents of the measure to raise more than $30 million for the fight. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda takes an in-depth look at Proposition 8, the proposed ban on gay marriage. Robin Tyler and Diane Olson waited 15 years to get married. Now they want to fight to stay that way. When we became domestic partnership, it wasn't congratulations. It was just like becoming a corporation. You filled the papers, you sent it into Sacramento, and you got some rights. But when we got married, all of a sudden the recognition of our relationship was so much deeper. They're Los Angeles County's first same-sex couple to get married. They were part of the lawsuit that went all the way to the state Supreme Court. Who have we hurt since we've gotten married? Who have we hurt? You know, my answer is why not? Why, you know, you know, why not? <laughs> Wait, there's no reason for us not to be able to be married. Tyler and Olson are fighting Proposition 8, which would place a constitutional ban on same-sex marriage. Supporters of Proposition 8 say they don't want to take away their rights, but they feel the state Supreme Court made a mistake. We feel like it's outrageous that the California Supreme Court would, you know, would ignore the voice of the people and in May legalize gay marriage, even though we had a landslide election saying, no, we really still want to serve the gay community, but we want to have traditional marriage on the books. Sonia Eddings-Brown is from Yes on 8. She says the group supports marriage between a man and a woman specifically for the benefit of children. Mom, guess what I learned in school today? What, sweetie? I learned how a prince married a prince, and I can marry a princess. Think it can happen? The group has commercials like this, which claim children could be taught about same-sex marriage in school. Gay couples deserve to have exactly the same rights and privileges under marriage that we all do. The only place that we have a problem is when the rights of our children are sacrificed. Tyler and Olson say ultimately this is a civil rights issue. They say if, if, if this stays, they're going to teach same-sex marriage in schools. No, they're not. That's an out-and-out -out lie. The truth is this is just about love and commitment to our relationship, and all we want is equality. I'm Carlos Granda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. The latest exclusive Eyewitness News poll conducted by Survey USA shows a close vote for Proposition 8. Forty-eight percent of Californians say they will vote yes. That's a four-point increase from last month, and 45 percent say they will vote no. Seven percent aren't sure. African Americans may show up at the polls in record numbers this year, and that could have an impact on Proposition 8, the anti-gay marriage initiative. Our witness news reporter Miriam Hernandez tells us African American community leaders have taken sides in this hard-fought campaign. Yes, for eight. Yes, for eight. Prop 8, the ban on gay marriage. It strikes at the core of African American values like no other measure. Pastors preach the Bible. Marriage is the first institution that God Almighty created. Yet opponents see another side of traditional values. It is their history of fighting for civil rights. The state NAACP is against eight, so is Vincent Jones. And ultimately, people realize that it's about hate, it's about um, discrimination, and they don't support that, and they're deciding to vote no. The split is getting close scrutiny as Election Day draws closer. Democratic candidate Barack Obama is expected to deliver record numbers of African Americans to the polls. Pastors gathered today are concerned about the outcome, whether they could be prosecuted if they refuse to conduct a gay marriage ceremony. That means I am liable to be sued in court. That means that my uh, 501 is liable to be taken away from me. Opponents say pastors will have discretion. Both sides say it is an issue of conscience. Same-sex couples are Mormons, are Jewish, are Catholics, and they're going to vote against Proposition 8. God is all about civil rights because he gives the outline in the scripture. But when it violates, when man's law or what man proposed to be law violates the word of God, that's when there's a problem. The latest survey shows it is the yes on Prop 8 forces who are ahead, but by a very small margin. The next few weeks of the campaign will be critical to both sides. Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News.